All right, I wanted to update a video that I did in the past about how you can put a calendar into Teams. There's been a lot of questions about it recently, so I thought it would be worthwhile. To start with, we need to come up with a shared calendar. And so here you can see all the different calendars that I have. And I already have this one called Second Period. I might even just label this as my class calendar, and then I could put all of my classes into one calendar. It would make it a little bit easier for me. But if you have several classes that get you know, off on different uh, dates as you have different school activities, you might want to do one for each class period. I would recommend just doing one and then you can always set up your appointments on there uh, using the information for whatever class period is needed. But This way everybody could use the same calendar. But this would be a calendar that I as the teacher want to go ahead and put appointments on. Uh, maybe major tests like you can see there on the 19th. And it may also just be announcements that I wanted to share out kind of in a, a calendar view so the kids can see that. If I needed to add a new calendar though, all I have to do is click right here on add calendar. And then I type in the name of the calendar right here and I'm all ready to go. Now you may notice that you have your ellipse menu here. And if you click on that, you see the sharing options, but unfortunately these sharing options are only if you needed to share this with other people. So if you did want all of your students, to have access to this shared calendar, you would have to add them in. And then at that point, the calendar, everybody would have added access to that. But you can also set it up where just maybe you and a co-teacher have access to that to edit and everybody else is just gonna view it. So we'll take a look at how you do that. I'm gonna come up here to the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner. I'm gonna click on the bottom of the list on view all Outlook settings. I'm already on the calendar tab here, but I'm gonna go to shared calendars. All you need to do is click this drop down menu. You're going to select the calendar that you want to share, or get a published link for. And then over here, you can put the permissions. So maybe you want to just show them uh, titles and locations, or you can view all details. I would go ahead and let them view all details. That way I can put in detailed descriptions if I needed to. This is also a calendar that I could share with parents and parents would be able to see all the updates that you make on it using the same link that we're going to create. So I'm going to say all details. And then I just click this publish button. Now the publish button then gives me two different options here. All I need to do is get this HTML one to put into my team. So I'm just going to click on that. It's going to give me the option here to copy that. Then I'm going to go into my team and using the tabs option up here at the top, I'm going to add a new tab in. It's going to be a website tab this time. I'll call it class calendar. I'll paste in the link. I'm going to uncheck this post to channel. And I'm going to go ahead and say save. Now when your kids come into your team, they can always click on the class calendar right here and they can see all the different information that you share. And just to show that that's live and going to be updating, I'm going to come back to my calendar, close out this, and I'm going to go here onto the 27th and add a new appointment. And then you can go ahead and type in something like, remember to get this form attached. And if you wanted to, you could actually attach a document, uh, go out to your computer, put the permission slip there, and that way your parents have access to that permission slip right there on the calendar. Just another easy way to share information with people um, and to be able to get that information exchanged the way you want it. But anyway, we're gonna just leave it at this for now. So I need to make sure I'm on the right calendar. So up here, I've got the drop down where I can toggle the different calendars. I am on my second period once I'm okay, so I'm gonna hit save. Now that shows up here on my calendar. But if I go back into my team and I can refresh up here and there it is. The field trip information's there. They could click on it here. They could go ahead and open that up. If there was an attachment here, they could go ahead and download that attachment or their parents could and everybody be happy. Just to quickly show you that it works in the browser by itself too, I could email this out to my parents. They go directly to the link and they're gonna see all that same information right here just in a normal web view without any problems. So handy stuff for a teacher to be able to do to be able to get that good information exchanged with their parents and their students. Hope this was helpful.